Welcome back to John Cleese Car Audio. My name is Connor. Today I'm taking you around a little installation we've done in a BW Transporter, the T6.1 shape. This wanted a new system in the front fitted. There was actually nothing wrong with this unit. A fully operating unit with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, DAB, and pretty much everything you need, I guess. But what it didn't have, our customer specified, was that they wanted a built-in navigation, hard drive-based navigation where you're not relying on your phone, where problems where phone navigation most of the time it's okay, but if you go into uh, abroad or more rural areas where there's no phone coverage or even just a very congested, busy area where phone coverage becomes very weak, that's when built-in navigation come, comes into it. So, so the customer in this one has gone for a Kenwood DNX 9190. We've used the bespoke Kenwood fitting kit, meaning everything VW still works. So first of all, you've got the fascia which goes in, which allows the Kenwood 7-inch screen to fit. The factory USB C lead, sorry, C connectors down the bottom, they're still working connected. Number one goes to the Kenwood for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wired, and number two becomes a charging one. So seamless integration there. All the customer steering wheel controls still work. And if you're not already aware, this unit here has actually got car settings built into it, which you need to retain, otherwise you're gonna lose functionality on your VW this is still working. So what we do is we push the button on here five times, one, two, three, four, five, which is the voice activated button. And then it will go into the screen, which gives us full functionality of the original settings. And then using the skip buttons, we can literally go down the options. And then when you want to pick the one, you literally, I'm going to try and get the right angle so you can see what I'm doing here. So you go into here and then you push the voice button to actually enter in it. So now I can go into vehicle systems. I've got access to the traction control, tire pressure monitoring, light sensors. You know, go into here, for example, where you can choose on the automatic headlight control in rain. You don't want to lose any of these settings when changing the radio. It's very important these are retained. So this is pretty seamless. All operated from the steering wheel controls as opposed to the touchscreen on the old unit. But hey, it still, it still works and the customer still got all the functionality, which is what you really want with this unit. Now, being a top-of-the-range unit, it has got pretty much every option known to man. So you've got, obviously, built-in navigation I mentioned, which is Garmin, as you can see there. It's got a 720p HD screen, so Garmin is extremely crystal clear. Very quick to use. So you can literally go, view map, there's your whole map. You can go to where to, go to address, and just type a postcode in RG2. For example, the shop here, and then hit done. And then just hit go and then you can use navigation without having to have your phone plugged in this unit has got a motorized front panel we've currently got it on a slight angle facing inverted please try to highlight a group the reason we've done that is because now it kind of aims at the customer's face but if i push the eject button what you can then do you can choose different angles say flat angle up so if you've got a your car where the unit's quite low down you can have it angled all the way up now, in this car, we're going to leave it at minus one because we find that's the right viewing angle for the customer. We've got wireless Apple CarPlay, so no need to plug your phone in. I'll just go into CarPlay, and now I've got CarPlay here as well. Extremely responsive, capacitive touchscreen, which is super nice. We've obviously got DAB radio. We utilize the original DAB aerial in this as well. So, yeah, it's, no, it's a good solution. Three-year warranty as well when installed by ourselves. You've still got a CD player as well. It, it has every single you, possible feature, DNX 9190. Um, if you obviously have a transport T6 and you like it, then you know what to do, get in contact. If you fancy a bigger screen, so rather than changing the screen out for pretty much a similar size screen that you put back, you removed, then what you can actually do, this they do the same style unit with built-in nav with a 10-inch screen with even camper points of interest on as well, which is nice. And what the 10-inch screen will do, it won't actually block anything that's usable in this car. All it will do is block pretty much the fascia and sit in this area here. So I quite like the 10-inch screen options in these ones, and we've done quite a few. Um, we've got pictures. I don't think we've got many videos at the moment, but we will upload videos as and when we do them again. But otherwise, I'm going to finish this video here. But that's Connor and all the boys at John Cleese Car Audio signing off. Speak to you soon.